Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Saturday, March 25th. Tesla is launching its Safety Score 2.0, a new version of its driver scoring system, in an attempt to make it more fair since it influences insurance costs. When launching its own car insurance product, Tesla utilized its capability to collect real-time driving data from vehicles to create what they called a safety score, which basically gives drivers a score based on how and when they drive in order to affect their monthly premiums negatively or positively. The system has received a fair amount of criticism, especially when it was new and used for entrance into the full self-driving beta program. However, over time, improvements had led it to a second version coming out now. With the update, Tesla has added excessive speeding and unbuckled seatbelts as a safety factor, which personally, I would think, would have been the first thing that they had, but I guess not. Also added is a balance to the late-night driving risks and updated hard braking. Hopefully, these results have some safe driver results and paying less for insurance results. Tesla has released a new software update activating its vision-based park assist feature and videos are starting to roll out, showing it in action. In October of last year, Tesla abruptly decided to stop including ultrasonic sensors on the Model 3 and Y. These ultrasonic sensors were used for short-range object detection, particularly during low-speed maneuvers like parking. This means that some vehicles have been waiting for a software update, and Tesla was working to reinstitute Park Assist, Auto Park, Summon, and Smart Summon. And now, just six months later, Tesla has started rolling out vision-based Park Assist in its 2023.6.9 update. Unfortunately, it's not a total fix for all the lost features, as the update does not seem to activate Auto Park, Summon, or Smart Summon. But on the plus side, it does bring back the lost functionality, showing drivers how far they are from various objects while parking the car. Tesla was successfully hacked at the Pwn to Own conference. Over the last few years, Tesla has been investing a lot into cybersecurity and working closely with white hat hackers. The automaker has been participating in the Pwn to Own hacking competition by offering large prizes. Zero Day Initiative, the organization running the contest, confirmed that this year was no exception and the Tesla Model 3 that they brought was successfully hacked. The hackers confirmed that they managed to gain root access to Tesla's system and claimed to have been able to take over the whole car. As a result, they won $100,000 and the Model 3 that they managed to compromise. Congratulations! This week's episode is sponsored by SAE International, hosts of the WCX World Congress Experience event. For 2023, WCX is set to return to Detroit from April 18th to 20th at Huntington Place. As the largest technical mobility event in North America, WCX brings together thousands of engineers, suppliers, and mobility professionals to exchange ideas, discuss today's challenges, and build powerful relationships to move your career and the industry forward. Join the global mobility community in the Motor City this April to stay up to date on the latest technological advances, participate in roundtable discussions, and network with the brightest minds in the industry. Gain a competitive advantage and meet the people shaping the future of mobility. Visit wcx.sae.org to register now. Ford revealed plans for a second electric truck codenamed Project T3. After capping off the previous year with 61,575 electric vehicle sales, Ford snagged the spot of the second largest EV maker. To accelerate EV production, Ford revealed plans in 2021 for its largest, most advanced and efficient auto complex in the rich 118 year history. This project is called Blue Oval City. It's being constructed on nearly six square miles in Stanton, Tennessee. And now during a press conference at the $5.6 billion mega campus, Ford shared plans for a second fully electric truck after the F-150 Lightning. The code name already has marketing behind it as Ford calls it the Project T3, which is short for Trust the Truck. This is concerning a truck that people can trust in the digital age, one that's fully capable of towing, hauling, exporting power, and endless innovations, as they say. Although no specifics were mentioned about the vehicle, Ford CEO Jim Farley described it as being like the Millennium Falcon with a back porch attached. Now, personally, I hope it doesn't look too much like the Millennium Falcon, because... 
That one got some mixed reviews. What a piece of junk! After officially unveiling its first electric truck earlier this year, the Ram 1500 REV, Ram is already working on their second mid-sized EV pickup. The automaker showed the concept off to dealers this week, and according to a report from Automotive News, one of the dealers says the design is similar to the 1500 Revolution concept that was shown in January, which is not terribly surprising. A dealer and former Stellantis Dealer Council chairman, Randy Rye, said, quote, We're going back in that game. He was referring to the midsize pickup market, saying, quote, Without a doubt, it looks like a Ram. Now, as Rye tells it, Tavares, the CEO of Stellantis and other company officials, spent time explaining electric vehicles and their capabilities, saying the presentation helped employees walk away with a different mindset about what EV really means. Now, in the humble opinion of a specialty news site talking head, such as myself, I would think they would have had that EV talk a long time ago. You know, the one where they sit on the couch in the front room and have that awkward discussion that no one wants to start. Aptera Motors is back with a second announcement this week, saying that they have selected an open source driver's assist system called Open Pilot. It'll be integrated into the production model of their solar electric vehicle. Previously voted the number one driver's assist system by Consumer Reports, Open Pilot is the only consumer system available, aside from Tesla, that can halt at stop signs at the red lights, while only using one-tenth of the power. As a result, Aptera states that future owners should see virtually zero efficiency loss when using the system. It's not all for the user experience, however. I mean, let's be honest. The nature of the open source software means that Aptera is going to be using it for free. Burger King is going electric after revealing whopping plans to transition its North American field team to 100% EVs by the year 2030. Let us look at the details. As one of the largest fast food companies worldwide with nearly 19,000 locations across 100 countries, Burger King found themselves in a pickle regarding climate impact. In 2020, Blink Charging announced an agreement to deploy several charging stations across Burger King in the Northeast. So the company is now in the company of other fast food companies, such as Subway and Taco Bell, who've opened up charging stations at their restaurants. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Martin Wood says, Lucid cars have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as standard, thanks to an over-the-air update. Yes, indeed, Martin. Lucid announced the addition of CarPlay integration as a standard feature in a tweet last night. Its latest over-the-air update will allow current Lucid Air owners to gain access to Apple CarPlay capabilities, opening up new doors of accessibility right from the EV's cockpit. It'll go through the touchscreen, and Lucid says that the latest software update will roll out to its EVs next week and come implemented on all the vehicles rolling off the assembly line. Thanks for the tip, Martin, and thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.